Good day, everybody. I want to try to bring to light some facts about the dams and rivers that are within the United States. They are designed and set with the fact that a specific flow, and this is agreed upon in the treaties and what have you coming up to it, but there's a specific outflow that has to be released every day. It's a requirement. And the only deviation from that is if there's work that needs to be done on the dam or work that needs to be done on the river downstream. If you find the information I'm sharing with you interesting or useful, we'd appreciate it if you reach down and mash the like and subscribe. And with that being said, if, if it does happen and they hold back water for some reason, that amount of water has to be made up at some point. So the thing that was um, surprising to me is when I was looking back at one of the graphs earlier that I was sharing with you, the water had been decreased down to 6,000 cubic feet a second, which allowed the lake at the same time that it raised during the flash floods, it also started raising and continued to go that way for some period of time. Now, the lower releases has at least allowed, if you can see in the view here on this, the water summary that I pulled offline, the water had worked its way back up to in the 1046.29 elevation level right here. And today it has dropped down to 1045.29 as you can see up here in the top of the chart which is disturbing because that means basically in one week's time or eight days time the water has dropped one foot in a week it's dropped one foot so what will that mean if it continues at this pace obviously right now I believe they're probably releasing more to to catch up with where they were held back earlier a month or two ago so now they're releasing 12,600 CFS a day and, and that's that's the lower day it's been here if you can see on the chart for the last seven days it's been anywhere from 14,900 CFS up to 12,600 CFS so it's significant and I'm I'm thinking that the release, I don't know factually, but looking back over numerous years, I see that the water release levels are somewhere between nine and 10,000 CFS is the norm. So right now they're, rele they're receiving 9,000 CFS, which is coming from Lake Powell. If you take a look over here now on the change, part it shows you each day how much it's gone down so over the last seven or eight days here it's gone down pretty drastic so that brings concern to my mind if it's dropping that much in one week what will it be in 52 weeks are we going to be down 50 52 feet for the year that's a good question something I think everybody ought to be thinking about because 52 feet puts us ever so much closer to the Deadpool but more importantly it brings us closer to where they can no longer generate power. If you found this content interesting or useful please reach down and hit that like and subscribe and possibly even share it with your community or your friends. It would be much appreciated. This is time to get going out.